What's up, guys? Craft Farms here. Welcome back to Edgewater, Saskatchewan. We are finishing up our oat harvest today. Uh, we just got a few more passes to go here. And then we are done and out of here with this. We can uh, move on to corn harvest and finish out our year uh in terms of harvest anyways uh the truck is over there full so i'm hoping that i can fit everything in the grain cart and the combine um that way we don't have to run the truck back to the farm and come all the way back i would much rather just do everything in one move It looks like the combine is going to just about fill us. I think it is going to fill the grain cart here. I'm going to go ahead and bring our auger in. So it didn't quite fill it. So we're going to let him turn around and then we're going to unload on the go here oh, we're driving through the neighbor's uh wheat field here or oat whatever that is i think it's an oat field yeah that's an oats field but uh we're gonna unload on the go here just to get that last five percent that we need in the cart maybe actually what we're gonna do we're gonna let this guy sit we're gonna grab this truck we're going to run this to the farm. While we're waiting on that combine to finish. Because he shouldn't fill up on those last three little passes there. So. We're going to run this into the yard. And then. Uh. Get everything taken care of and wrapped up. And then we'll be jumping right on into corn here today as well. So what we're going to do is we're going to get this truck here and then um, I'll get everything brought back and then we'll see what we're going to end harvest with for an amount of grain. And then uh, we'll be jumping into corn so I will see you guys in just a second All right, and we're back we got everything here so I got the front hopper of the truck empty we're gonna dump out the back meanwhile we're going to dump the cart and the combine get everything emptied and done Let's get this combine out of the way. This guy's going to need to get washed up. Get them all shined up and pretty for...
corn harvest. Wait a minute here. Come on, Mel. No, oh, come on. I don't know why it does not want to stay up. Or stay down, I mean. Whatever. Screw it. It can stay up in the air then. That's just going to irritate me, so. Okay. This guy is done, so we can wash this up as well. We'll get it tarped. truck is empty so we can get him pulled up out of the way we're going to take this guy and probably just pull it up over here behind the building and he can sit get this guy up Oop, wrong way actually we're gonna just shut this stuff down for right now and then um, get this stuff washed up here quick We'll wash everything quick, and then we'll take a look at uh, our final oat uh, quantity, or I guess, I don't know, our oat inventory. We'll, do, we'll call it that. Uh, we'll take a look and see what we ended with for uh, our bushels. some very dirty machinery here especially our combine combine is very dirty so the grain carts probably the only thing that we're gonna leave hooked up uh, we're gonna leave it hooked up for now just in case uh, Sean can't get us anything right away when we need it. Um, so we'll just kind of make sure that it does, in fact, uh, come. And if a uh, new cart does not come in time for corn harvest, then we have ours still hooked up. Uh, that way we can still get rolling but uh, we'll see we'll give them a call once we get everything sorted and uh, put away that way we know what's going on perfect all right I will get everything put away I'll make that phone call to Sean here and uh, we'll come back when we're ready for some corn. So we'll see y'all in a few. Alrighty, we are back. As you can see, we are in October. Our corn is ready. Uh, we got some uh, rentals. So we got a Kenworth T, what is this, T800? Yeah, T800 with a 50 foot Timpty uh, triaxle hopper trailer. We got a Brent 1596 behind a John Deere 9620RX. And we've also got a second 612C corn head behind, hooked to a John Deere S550. So Sean came through, got us some machinery, and got us hooked up. 
So we are going to get rolling and uh, get going on corn harvest. I did already um, create some course play courses. Um, I made courses for our normal combine setup and then also for double. So we're going to go ahead and get this loaded up. And this is going to be first waypoint on the left hand side. And we're going to cut our way into the waypoint here. And we are dropping straw. Okay, well, we don't want to be doing that. So we're going to go in here. Uh, straw swath deactivated. Did not even realize that there was corn straw on this map here, but apparently there is. Where are you going here? Hold up a minute. Guess we gotta go just a little ways past it here. There we go. Now he'll be good to go. Okay, and then we'll jump in our other combine. Let's make sure that the straw swath is off on this guy as well, because we don't want any kind of straw swath from this corn. I'm not sure. Like I said, I didn't even realize that there was corn straw on this map. Um, so, yeah. Okay, we need our F1. Okay. Whoops. What course do I have loaded here? Oh, wrong course, that's why. Load course, F1 double. And I did get this combine filled up with uh, fuel as well, because he was pretty low. So we'll get out here past this. And we should be good. Perfect. So we'll get them guys rolling. And then we're going to set our trucks up. So, because of uh, the second combine, the second truck, and this bigger grain cart, hopefully harvest should go a little bit better uh, for us here. Let's make sure that we get this guy far enough away that the combines are not going to try and smack it. Our first combine is already getting close to full. Um, so we did end up uh, we'll take a look here at what we ended up with for oats in just a moment. We'll get this guy spun around first. We'll hop into the cart. We ended up with, where are we at here? Right here. 7,810 bushels of oats. So we got a pretty decent amount. Let's go find that first combine there and get him unloaded and then probably going to have to unload the other one right away. So we're going to go ahead and bring down our <coughs> cruise control setting here. Yep, we know we are coming to unload ya. So we are going to be at this field for quite a while, even with two machines. It's still going to take about an hour. So we are going to be here a while. But uh, judging so far, it looks like it's going to be a pretty good corn harvest. Because, like I said, we're already full 
in one combine, and the other one's just about there. So we are going to have corn coming out of our ears, I think. Hopefully we have enough bin space. If we don't, we are going to end up uh, probably borrowing some more money and purchasing that bin site, um, this bin site all the way down here in the middle of field 36. We're probably going to end up purchasing that. It is $31,440. We'd have to take out about, mm, oh, come on now. We're in a bad spot here. Uh, we would have to take out a pretty decent-sized loan to be able to make it work, but, uh, or take out a good chunk more of loan than what we have, but, it would be doable. Come on now. Catch up here. Let's go. Yeah, considering our cart is already over a quarter of the way full. I think we are going to have one insane corn harvest. So I think we are going to end up probably purchasing that other bin site. Um, yeah, we're going to have to add to the loan. That's ridiculous. Apparently the collision for that combine is way the hell out there that those cars are stopping way over there. Which is ridiculous, but. Alright, that guy is empty. Let's go ahead and run up here. And we're going to just keep unloading. And hopefully we can keep up. It's going to be pretty insane trying to get around here, but. This field is definitely going to take some time. There is definitely some corn here. Good lord. And this cart is probably going to fill things up pretty quickly. Which is going to be a good thing. We, uh, we should be pretty good now for our harvest. Definitely glad that they had another combine staying around. Otherwise, this field really would take forever. And the second truck. A second truck is definitely going to help us out as well. I mean, yeah, our trucks right now, they're sitting right there, but they're only sitting in the yard temporarily. They aren't going to be staying there. They uh, they will be moving. And I want to take a quick peek here. How many headlands are we doing? I don't remember if it was two or three. Let's take a look here. It is two headlands. Okay. Um, but, yeah, our trucks are only going to sit there until we get the field opened up and then once we have the field opened up then they'll be in the field so would have been nicer if they would have a bit bigger combine for us this uh, S550 will work pretty well would like to upgrade to something like it Eventually, if not bigger. Eventually, we'll get there. I mean, if <laughs> with how this corn harvest is looking, we might uh, we might get there quicker than we think uh, with how much corn we're going to have. And corn goes for a pretty decent amount of money. So 
So I think we might make a good chunk of change here this winter. Cart is already three quarters of the way full. Goodness. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to try and turn this big monster around. And I think we're going to try and go empty it right away. See if we can do this without running over any corn perfect all right let's book it back because we're not going to have enough room to empty both of those guys again if need be we will fill that last hopper bin with corn as well i'd rather not but if it comes down to it where we need to uh we will but, like I said, I would rather not put any corn in that hopper bin just because we can't really cool it at all. But, uh, like I said, if need be, we will put some in there. But I have a feeling at the rate that we're going, we're going to need more bins. So I guess we shall uh, we shall see. Fill this T800 first here. Alright, now I know we have some. Ooh. See if we can see it from in here. We can. Perfect. Get her unloaded here. This is probably going to fill this truck, honestly. I'm not exactly sure of what that truck holds. No, no, it won't quite fill it. It's definitely going to fill her up a ways. And why is that combine still moving, even though it's full? What are you doing? What are you doing? Hold on here. Hold on here. What on earth are you doing? Okay. Freaking course play, huh? Gotta love it. I don't know what the hell happened there. But something happened. So we're gonna... We're just gonna stick the auger out on both of these guys because they both need to be unloaded. And then we'll get this guy moving again. I just love when course play wants to be dumb. Not really, but what do you do, I guess? So I think that trailer holds like a full grain cart. Because... She's not even full yet. And we had a lot in this. We had like 1,100 bushels in this cart. So now we got to book it to get back over there so we can get them unloaded.
It looks like this tractor. Wow. This tractor and both of our combines are going to be some fuel hogs. On fuel and dev. So we might end up having to see about leasing a fuel trailer uh, and getting the one with the def in it because I have a feeling we're going to be filling some stuff up quite a bit. We haven't even gotten around this field once. We've already used 10% of fuel in both combines. We've used 6% of def in the S series. And we've already used 3% of def in this tractor and 3% of the fuel. That's ridiculous. Get that guy unloading. I have manual unload installed. That's why we got to get out and unload him. And then we're going to probably back out of the way. Let's get the auger brought back in on this combine so we can get that guy moving again. Because I want him to get ahead of this combine a little ways, if possible. Right, and off you go. We'll jump back in this guy and get him unloaded. Oh, that second headland pass is going to be a nightmare. But, is what it is. Can't really do much about it. And I'd rather keep that combine ahead of this one a ways, so that way, when it stops, you know, hopefully, hopefully we can just kind of space things out a little better. That's what I'd like to do. Let's grab this little snippet here that they're going to miss and continue on your way. And already we are 35% full. Good lord. We are going to have corn for days. <laughs> Not even. We're going to have corn for years. This guy is getting close to being full again. Alrighty, folks, that's going to do it for today. I am going to continue on with our harvest here, and uh, we're going to get this field opened up, uh, get both of our headland passes done, and then get some of our up and down rows started and get moving on that. And uh, when we come back, we'll continue combining some corn here so thanks everybody for watching hope you all enjoyed this video if you did be sure to smash that thumbs up button and as always folks we'll see you all tomorrow